Hi guys, today's topic is a little bit controversial and um, it just struck me this morning. Uh, we usually listen to Christian radio, but once in a while we want to dance around and get down. And um, so we turn to like our local, I guess it would be pop, but more like hip hop pop. And so we get down as we're going to school. So the radio uh, host or the DJ, they're not really DJs anymore, but the person who talks while the computer is putting on music, um, she was talking about a controversy that um, was going down because Rihanna had Instagrammed a photo with her choreographer and saying that the choreographer was her spirit animal. And so um, somebody wrote back and responded that she shouldn't appropriate the Native American culture or indigenous culture uh, terminology, talking about spirit animals when she's not a Native American or an indigenous person um, from North America. And so that kind of like, I was kind of like, what? Yeah, um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about this concept of cultural appropriation and cultural celebration and cultural hoarding. Now, I know this is gonna set not set well with some people because cultural appropriation and being politically correct is like an obsession nowadays, but I need to let you know um, that that for me it kind of irks me when people are all getting upset about cultural appropriation um, when really uh, what I see is that more people are more knowledgeable about other cultures so they use terminology that can express kind of what they feel that yes comes from a, a cultural background um, but I really don't think that cultures own stuff i mean i think the more people that are aware and the more people who utilize and and uh are able to understand the concepts although not fully because they do not belong from that culture the better now that comes from a mixed breed i am puerto rican now puerto ricans um uh, i need to explain to you that although we speak spanish and we're hispanic we're not like spaniards and we're not necessarily like Latin Americans we are in the Caribbean um, and that has and also we are in a strange relationship with the United States so we have like a mishmash of culture that, that makes us who we are but as far as our heritage and our lineage we are a mix of many cultures so you might see me and you might not think black but you have not seen my grandfather who is black and some people from like North America from the United States mainly would see my grandfather and say well you're not like black black you're not black enough um, but yeah he's black you want me to wet my hair so you can see how black I am no I'm kidding I'm kidding um, the truth of the matter is that for Puerto Ricans it's really hard to, to work around this cultural appropriation because we are like such a mix of cultures. I know that my family started from three brothers that left Spain, um, the northern part of the, the southern part of Spain, and they went to Cuba, to Mexico, and to Puerto Rico. And I know where the people for, with my last name come from in Puerto Rico, like the two towns where they were established. I know about the Puerto Ricans in, in the Amer Albarrans, which is my last name, in Cuba. And I know that there are a lot of albarrans in Mexico, including the singer of Café Tacuba, that if you're a Latino, you know, it's a really awesome rock fan. Anyhow, so it's really hard. And to top it off, like, so I know I have Spanish blood in me. So there's the European part. But I also know I have African blood in me because, hello, you can see it in my family. Um, the features and the color itself um, is present and in my family. And so we also know that we have Taino blood in us, some of our features. 
to top it off my mom is Panamanian and her mother is comes from a, a indigenous lineage so there's another add to the mix so in Puerto Rico like you could see me dancing to African music and that would not be cultural appropriation as a matter of fact I'll tell you the truth um, a friend of mine married a uh, an an American of somebody from the United States and we were at my sister's wedding and part of like the wedding gift that I gave them was that I had a bomba which is an African musical expression from Puerto Rico group come and perform um, so that we could all dance to it and so her husband who is like he looks like I, I don't know what to describe but just like the typical um, North American white person um, that we call lovingly gringo but he's now a gringo rican because he's lived in Puerto Rico forever and he speaks Spanish very well and he's he's awesome um, and he started like dancing in his own way okay it wasn't the culturally it wasn't the exact way that you should dance this African dance but you know what who cares? He was trying. He was becoming part of the celebration of culture that might have been foreign to him, but he was willing to let himself enjoy and try to understand. And um, so this whole idea of cultural appropriation and people getting all upset because people are using terminology, the only time that for me it is like something that's a no-no is when it's mockery, when you're mocking another culture, um, when you're belittling another culture. Now, when you're using terminology or even dress or even uh, music or expression, cult uh, cultural expressions like music, art, uh, etc., that that is from another culture, I mean, I feel very honored when somebody who is I don't know, Irish um, wants to dance salsa or wants to or thinks that, you know, our food is yummy and or wants to speak in Spanish and use Spanish slang. Um, but then again, here's here's me, a totally bicultural person, but also tricultural in the sense of the African, the Taino Indian and the well, tri quad cultural the Af the african the spaniard the taino and the panamanian indian that is part of who i am plus the american culture which is kind of also intertwined there um so it's very hard and to top it off my last name albaran is in arabic undeniably so there you go um it's it's very hard for us to be so politically correct in puerto rico because you know culture is something we celebrate diversity is something that we share and celebrate and we want to learn and we want to partake and we like certain things um, that belong to other cultures but guys what's up with all the cultural hoarding if you've got a good thing if you've got a beautiful thing if you have concepts that have not been explored or described in the same way in another culture and somebody uses that and tries uh to you know celebrate it or 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 become par part of it or understand it more i don't see what the big problem is now rihanna rocked because she said sorry and she said she'd never do it again but what if her expression was something that she really meant that it's like this person is kind of embodying uh what i stand for or what i am like uh, somebody they started going on and on about it and they started talking about like uh, what well she could call her her, her soul sister um, and then the person that was on the radio was actually Latina which is weird and said well I couldn't use that because I'm not black and I'm like if you're Latina you have black in you people okay <laughs> so you could totally use it some people might be upset and of course we never want to upset anyone so we don't want to offend people but we need to stop being cultural hoarders okay I, I i don't like the whole concept i can see where it's mockery where it's belittling where it's you know mistreating the concept or or just not being 
honoring of it, but just using the concept because it fits. Um, excuse me, you'd have to take out a whole bunch of words in the English language that come from other cultures because everyone's going to be offended because they have been taken from other cultures. Hello. Anyhow, that's my little rant about cultural appropriation and cultural hoarding and cultural celebration and sharing. You know what? Sharing is caring. If you are like from another culture, let's say Swedish, and you want to use African terms that we use in Spanish and in our culture, go for it. If you want to sing reggaeton and you're like from China, first of all, be careful because even some Puerto Ricans don't, you know, think that's a little cray. But if you want to do it, hey, you know, and if you want to dance, hey. Cultural sharing, people. Let's talk about cultural sharing because sharing is caring. We're all a family. And it just gets me cranky. It's just like, yeah, it's a rant. Cultural appropriation sometimes gets out of hand. Politically correctness, political correctness also sometimes gets out of hand. Okay, people, not everybody is offending, not everybody is attacking. Sometimes we're just sharing and sometimes we're enriching our own lives by con with concepts that might belong to your culture. And that's awesome. That's awesome. It doesn't mean I want to steal them. It doesn't mean that I'm making fun of them. It doesn't mean that I'm belittling them. It just means that you have a way of saying things that my culture or that my language does not. And so let's be cultural sharers, okay? Not hoarders. I have said that and I know some people are gonna be cranky and some people are gonna be purists and some people are gonna be like, so all about like, well, if it belongs to them, it belongs to them, don't touch it, whatever. Uh, you know, that's what has gotten us in the problems that we're in. Some people are cultural hoarders and think their culture are their culture is better than everybody else's and be careful not to fall into that while you're being like all cultural appropriation okay that's been enough of my rant because it's way too long um i love you mwah, and god bless you and remember god to love the world that he gave his only son uh to die so that we might live and he loved the world he loves all of us of all cultures and I'm so grateful for that. Let's try to imitate that. Ding! And not be offended every two seconds. Love ya! And remember, try to find eternal truths in everyday situations.